All right, we're on, bro. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, uh, potential sponsors. Uh, we're the, the McGillicuddy Bros. Uh, out of Fort Collins, Colorado. My name is Rob. Uh, my bros at home call me the Ripper. And uh, this is my uh, twin here, Tony. Uh, people out here know him as uh, Tony Shred. Uh, that's right, and uh, we've been uh, kind of taking a look at your uh, your company for a while now, and uh, you know basically the whole the, the whole sponsorship deal and your riders, and uh, we feel you have a great program, and we'd like to be a part of it, but uh, you're really missing uh, a key element, and that's that's two rippers from Fort Collins, Colorado, that are up there, you know, doing all the tricks in the park at Eldora and uh, and the Winter Park, but. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be about much bigger than that. We're ready to take this thing globally that we're doing here, and uh, we'd really like you to be along for the ride. You know what, bro? I, I couldn't have said that better myself. You know, uh, I've been personally riding uh, for 14 uh, hard seasons. Uh, I have had a couple setbacks of uh, some some injuries, but I've uh, started cross training into uh, other uh, sports and avenues, which has really strengthened my body, my mind, and my spirit. Um, I started training in uh, martial arts, and I've learned how to fall and roll. And you'll see now that my injury rate is going to go way down because uh, because of those reasons. And, and I'm, I'm starting to eat right. I'm cutting down on sweets. Uh, I've switched to tab, um, which for me seems to be a lot more healthy than some of these other soft drinks. But uh, between nutrition and training, uh, you'll find that uh, I'm a great rider. And, uh, well, you know, my brother concentrates on, you know, a lot more of the classical riding style. I tend to be the, the more new school influence uh, in the package. Uh, you know, for a while I went out of snowboarding. I was uh, concentrating some more on some of the, the other extreme events. Uh, I was one of the pioneers in uh, aggressive downhill boogie blading, which uh, you know, I'm sure you know has gotten uh, very competitive. and. Uh, you know, I you know I feel that I was one of the pioneers, but I was not compensated well for my you know involvement in that sport. And uh, now I'm looking to bring my talents uh, back to my you know my, my roots, to the soul, to snowboarding. And uh, you're going to be seeing me doing a lot of tricks in the parks on uh, you know on the guardrails, the, the the handrails that they have there and and whatnot. So uh, yeah, it's it's we're going to work out well for you. You and just. Uh, Sit back and you'll see that the uh, the McGillicuddy package is one you cannot pass up between my bros' new school tricks and, and my old school uh, progressive uh, carving and, and free riding. You'll see that uh, together we're going to be a uh, package you cannot pass up. So just uh, sit back, relax. You're about to see uh, some of the most amazing snowboarding uh, yet caught on film. See you soon. Well, as I'm sure you're well aware of, I am a world-renowned healer. After the big accident, Ripper sought me out for some rehabilitation and medical attention. <laughs> yeah, well, right after I saw Ripper for the first time, I didn't think he'd ever walk again, let alone ride. You know, he was in a world of hurt eating sweet tarts all the time, gummy bears, Twix bars, biting the ends off, both ends off the red vines, using it as a straw drinking Pepsi. So, uh, so Ripper, you, you talked earlier in the video about, uh, you know, how you had some injuries that were kind of plaguing you um, early on in your career. Uh, what have you done to, you know, overcome that and, you know, kind of deal with, uh, you know, staying healthy? Well, like I said, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of cross training and, uh, it's involved uh, a lot of martial arts uh, with rolls and falls, which has really uh, cut down on my uh, injury rate. When I go down on the board, uh, I'm able to keep control of my body without, uh, without injuring it. So some of the things I do to start off with, I like to, to do some pull-offs, <sighs> and I usually do that once a day. And then from there, I go into some of my, uh, my jiu-jitsu rolls and falls. I like to start off with ah! a jumping side fall. And then I like to come up here. Let's say I'm landing a trick, faking, I lose balance. I come down, oh, oh. Unscathed. 
That is fantastic. I think that's really going to take you to the top this year, Ripper. Well, I'm sure hoping so. <laughs> okay, uh, we're, uh, we're here at the mountain. Uh, we're ready to give you guys what you came to see. We know you're all on your edge of your seat waiting to, you know, check us out shredding. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Whoa! That's the most words that usually comes out of the ripper before uh, we go out shredding because he likes to get into his pre-game zone. I don't hear anything from him all day until we're up there free carving and he's just ripping the slope. Whereas I love to just, you know, kind of go crazy before I get up there and, you know, well, without further ado, as you can see, I think we got about 15 feet of new snow and we're going to go up and go shred. inspiration incarnate in Tony Shred, like the way he jabonks things is just like the penultimate experience for me. Yeah, Rob the Ripper, the way he slashes through the slalom, I mean, he's got the wiggle down better than anybody. I mean, a lot of the racers these days should watch video those of guys, Rob the Ripper. Those guys are nothing but prime time. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo! laughs> Tony Shred and Rob the Ripper McGillicuddy are awesome. You have to sponsor these guys. The mustache alone will make you sponsor Rob the Ripper. I mean, he is doing innovative carving out there on the hill. You see him on the groomers 8:30 in the morning, just tearing it up. I tell you, awesome. And Tony Shred, I mean, of any muffin out there, he'll butter it. He'll butter anything. Just banana peeling off of boxes. Pressing the crowds. I've been riding the pipe here at Eldora for about uh, 10 years now, and uh, I can pretty much do consistent uh, head high airs all the way down the pipe. I'm gonna have my brother Ripper stand underneath me on this first jump, just so you can get an idea of how high I'm really going. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. You know it, brother. Frustrated kid. He hated life Tried to end it with a butter knife Didn't work You know, I think about Rob the Ripper and Tony Shred McGillicuddy quite often actually because these two riders have really influenced me in general, you know, as a person and as a snowboarder. And, you know, I, I do research on, on these two. Research, I mean, I really, I look into their riding and I dissect it and, you know, I feel their riding. I feel it in me. And so when I, when I look at them, I try and have that in my head. That's what I try and do on the hill. Like Rob the Ripper, for in instance, um, you know, his, his flat bottom work has, I mean, I, I take his flat bottom work and I, I replicate that because he is flat bottom. He is the flat bottom. Rob the Ripper is the flat bottom. And then Tony Shred, I mean, he's influenced me just with style. I mean, I look at his style and, you know, I, I'm going to have to say it, but I, I copy it. I do. I rip it off. Oh, what a stick today! Yeah! Because, uh, you know, when you were coming down the hill and the 
doing the, the, the turns and the cars that you were doing? You too, brother. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, that, was, that was sick, but you know, you know, Ripper and I kind of have a philosophy about snowboarding that snowboarding, you know, is a lot of work. You got to work for your sponsors. You got to get out there and, you know, get that footage. But uh, another little philosophy we have is uh, you got to work hard and you got to play hard, baby. Yin and yang of love, baby. Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play a little bit, you know. We're going to go in and enjoy a couple cocktails, maybe pick up on some ladies. Who knows what's gonna happen, you yeah. know? Cause we got the skills to pay the bills and we also got the skills to hit the skin. Yeah! yeah. What up with the ladies, yo? Hold it up! <laughs> <laughs> Cuddy Brothers. Uh, as you can see, uh, we do rip. Uh, we will be an asset to your company. Uh, right now, we're just uh, sitting at home and getting ready to go out and uh, do what we do best is go snowboarding. Uh, my brother likes to start out every morning with a little meditation, uh, which is in line with you know his uh, Tai Chi beliefs. And uh, I'd just like to say that I, I feel that the McGill and Cuddy Brothers are going to take over. Uh, right where the slacker Lucas Hutton and uh, Jesse Huffman brothers left off. Thank you. And a few things I'd like to say as well. A couple people I'd like to thank. Number one, Gillette Razor for allowing them to keep my mustache nice and trim in good shape. I'd also like to thank my sensei who without him I'd still be in Kansas drunk. And then lastly I'd like to thank my uh, my good friends at uh, Kemper Snowboards, who's allowed me to use their bag, let me get uh, my my snowboard uh, up to Eldora Park each and every day. Is the flat bottom? Rob the Ripper is the flat bottom.